Man, I just hate pillagers. These stupid guys just randomly attack me after I enter a village, and then just shoot my dogs and kill my villagers. Not to mention that they literally don't even drop anything useful. To make it worse, I have a data pack installed which makes pillager outposts quite a bit harder. I'm tired of being bitten by ravagers and blown up by fireworks, so instead of trying to just brute force my way in, why don't I just code a catapult into the game and... So first things first, we need to get this thing constructed. I made a basic frame of oak planks and logs with a cauldron for this bucket thing. To summon the catapult, I'm going to detect when the projectile, a block of obsidian, is loaded into the cauldron. Then the structure is destroyed and the catapult is summoned. Wait, that's not a catapult. Off to block bench. Let's make our catapult model based on some super accurate reference images. I made a few different variations for the different stages of the catapult. After adding code to make sure that the summoned armor stand faces the correct direction, you can see the catapult is done. Let's start giving this some purpose by making it movable. Here's the plan. The player crouches to push the catapult, and if you crouch in the back, the catapult moves forwards, and if you push from the front, it moves backwards. Pushing on the left and right posts of the catapult will let you rotate it. From the center of the catapult's main function, I look at the crouching players in any of those locations to teleport the catapult in the right direction. In order for our catapult to 1 have health points and 2 have a way for the player to make it shoot, I'll be using slimes. Now if you're thinking, how the heck are we going to use slimes to shoot a catapult? Just hold on for a sec. First, I used MC Stacker to generate these summon commands. I summon a small slime in the back and one in the center that's a little bigger. Then I always make sure they're following the catapult's position and rotation. Now you might see how the slime is going to be used. To release the spoon thing, the player punches the release slime to fire the projectile. Now I'm using an advancement generator to run a shoot function anytime the player punches this specific slime, which I detect by giving only release slimes a special scoreboard score. As you can see, the detection is working just fine and only triggers the shoot function when I punch the release slime. Now I just need to hook it up to the actual catapult. To make the animation work, I hook up the shoot function to a countdown timer on the catapult armor stand, where an animation function periodically swaps out the catapult models to make it look like it's swinging. It starts at 10 ticks and counts down to zero, making the whole animation last around half a second. A swinging catapult may look intimidating, but we need this to actually shoot stuff. When the animation timer runs out, I summon an armor stand with a rock on its head. To make it move, I simply teleport it forwards and rotate it down every tick, making sure it actually has room to move forwards. Now we're not just making a spitball simulator, so let's make it do damage. Upon collision with the solid block, I summon a creeper to damage the target and a falling obsidian block to simulate the falling rock. What? Uh yeah, so apparently the explosion is launching the rock upwards, so I need to add a small delay before letting the rock drop down. Right now, the catapult can shoot without being reloaded and it magically resets itself with its rock. Obviously, the player should have to manually reload the catapult. When an obsidian block is detected, the loading animation timer activates just like how the shoot animation did. At the end of the animation, the catapult is tagged as loaded. I also made sure the catapult can only shoot when it's loaded and it gets tagged as empty after it shoots. Since the armor stand is exposed right now, a single arrow takes out the whole catapult. We need to make a basic health system, which is where the thick slime comes in. Making the armor stand invisible makes it invincible to damage, and we instead run detections on the center slime. If this slime loses 50 health, we run a death function to destroy the entire catapult by killing the armor stand, summoning drops, and teleporting the slimes into the void. With the catapult fully complete and ready for battle, we can now test it out on the final boss, the upgraded pillager outpost. Thank you guys for watching all the way through, that's basically it for this video, and don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more. 
Also, the download for the pack will be in the description if you want to play with it yourself or learn about the details of how everything works.